Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Today is day zero of Python for DevOps playlist. And in this video, we will learn about the course syllabus as well as the launch date. Now, if you are interested in learning Python for DevOps through our channel, this is a must watch video because you need to understand what is the syllabus and when you are going to learn Python for DevOps through this channel. So the first thing that I want to explain before I deep dive into the course syllabus is that are there any prerequisites for this series? So I want to explain this one because many of you might have this question. Yes, there is one prerequisite that is everybody has to go through the course syllabus. That's it. That's the only prerequisite and the course syllabus is available in the GitHub repository. So if you people have watched my previous playlist, that can be Terraform or AWS. I maintain a GitHub repository and I create daywise folders. And in this daywise folders, if there are any materials that I want to share with you, interview questions or any kind of notes, I share through this daywise folders. For example, in day 10, I want to share something important so that you can practice what I have taught in the video that will be available in the day 10 folder. Similarly, for all the 19 days, there will be 19 different folders. So please, you can start this uh, GitHub repository, fork this GitHub repository or watch it, whatever you would like to, so that you will get the updates whenever I create some files in it. Now, this is the first thing that I wanted to explain. That is, everyone has to go through the course syllabus before you start with day one, so that you understand what exactly you are learning and what are you going to learn tomorrow, right? You have a proper roadmap of what you are going to learn. Now, let's start with the course syllabus, right? So initially I promised to complete this in 15 days, but when I am writing the syllabus, you know, I take a lot of time in writing the syllabus. So the one that you see here, whatever is available in the readme document, you know, you might take some two to three minutes to read it, but usually to prepare the syllabus, I take two to three days because it is very important for me to structureize what I'm going to teach. And while I was thinking about it, you know, instead of 15 days, it was taking me some 20 days. So finally, I, you know, uh, prepared the syllabus, I prepared a draft, then I reviewed it. Then finally, it came up to 19 days. So it is going to be 19 days. And what you are going to learn on a day to day basis, let me explain that. So on day one, that is the first day, I will introduce you to Python. What does introduction mean? So I will explain a bit of history of Python right? Python 2, Python 3, and then we will move towards the installation of Python. So how to install Python on Windows, Mac, Linux, and GitHub code spaces. Because last time when we did the Terraform Zero to Hero series, code spaces was very, very useful, right? And many people don't have their personal laptops, or many people don't have that much uh, resources to run uh, programs on their laptops. So you can use the GitHub code spaces, right? So I'm also going to explain how to install and run your Python programs on the GitHub code spaces along with Windows, Linux, as well as Mac OS. And then we will run about, we'll learn about some basic configuration and we will conclude this session by installing a IDE. If it is Mac OS or Linux or Windows, I'll just show on one platform how to, how to install IDE that is going to be Visual Studio Code or you can also use PyCharm. These are the very popular ones. One is PyCharm and the other is Visual Studio Code. So we'll learn either of one, how to install and how to configure Visual Studio Code for your Python projects. And finally, we will write a very simple Python program. So on day one, the Python program is not going to be super big. It's going to be a very, very basic one because the intention here is to make sure that your Python is installed and configured properly. It will be as simple as a Hello World program or something. And day two. We will start learning about strings and numbers. That is, we are going to learn about string data types, integer data types, float data types, all of these things. Now, why I start with strings and numbers is very, very, it is very, very easy to understand strings and numbers first. So we will perform some string manipulations. We will perform some string formatting. Usually in interviews, there will be many questions related to string formatting. If a DevOps engineer, is giving interview on Python, or let's say they want to ask you some program, they want they want you to write some program. So 
you know, most of the times there will be some string manipulations and operations that are asked. So we will learn about that string manipulations on day two. It will be very basic because you will not be, I mean, on day two, you will not have experience on loops or if conditions. So that's why we will learn about string manipulations and formatting, but a very basic ones. Then we will learn about regular expressions. And finally, we will also learn about integer float and perform some operations on them. Then we will learn about variables. Variables are key for any programming language because using variables, you can make your program dynamic, right? It can be any programming language by using variables. You can dynamic, uh, you know, you can make your uh, program dynamic and Python is a dynamic, uh, dynamically typed. If you talk about other programming languages like uh, Golang, it's a statically typed programming language. But Python is a dynamically typed programming language and variables play a very critical role here. So that's why we will learn about variable. We will write a program and we will use variables in it. Then we will learn about the scope of the variables. What is local scope? What is lifetime? You know, global. We will learn about all of these things. We will learn about some good practices, how to write variables the naming convention of the variables, because when during an interview, if you are writing a program, right? Interviewers will look for this. How are you declaring a variable? What is the naming convention that you are providing? What are the best practices? Are you following them or not? Right? We will learn about all of these things. Then on day four, we will move towards understanding functions, modules and packages. Now, don't worry here on the day four, because you just learn about strings and numbers and variables. I will not deep dive so much into functions, modules and packages because later days you will learn very much about them. But the reason why I want to make you learn about functions, modules and packages on a basic level is because, you know, uh, going ahead when you want to learn operators or when you want to learn or when you want to perform some basic operations, you will import a lot of packages. It can be OS package, sys package. So when I want you to explain about import statements and packages before you understanding what exactly is a package, it will be very difficult. So that's why I will teach you on a basic level. What is a function? What is a module? What is a package? What are the difference between them? And then we will learn how to import a package. And there is a very, very important concept called Python workspaces or virtual environments, whatever you would like to call, right? Python virtual environments is a very important concept. We will learn on day four. Then comes day five. In day five, we will learn about environment variables as well as command line arguments. Again, environment variables and command line arguments are very, very powerful concepts. And we use these things a lot because usually as a DevOps engineer, when you write programs, you know, you take inputs and inputs can be through command line arguments or environment variables. So it is very important for you to understand how to read environment variable, how to write to an environment variable, how to use command line arguments when there are multiple command line arguments, how to read them. So all of these things is required. So that is your day five. Then comes Python operators. Operators, keywords, these are the pillars for any programming language. So till day five, we did not, you know, uh, we did not learn any advanced concepts. But after day five, you know, we want to learn some advanced concepts. So to start with adv advanced concepts, firstly, you need to know about the operators. So in any programming language, there are operators specific to Python. You have arithmetic operators. You have logical operators, bitwise operators, assignment operators. So, so <coughs> sorry. So what are all this? What are all of these operators? So we will learn each and every operator in detail. I will also provide you a very detailed notes and assignment is also available. And mostly what I'm planning in this particular series is to give you assignments so that you can evaluate your understanding. So I will also try to give some assignments on this and specifically in the operators, we will do practicals as well as I'll give you some assignments. And here we will perform a project. Uh, with operators, you can do magic. You can do, uh, you know, it will be very, very tricky if you don't understand it, uh, uh, you know, in a very uh, good manner, right? When there are different operators, for example, bitwise operator or uh, logical operator. 
probably bitwise operator you don't use as much as developers use as devops engineers but let's say logical operator or arithmetic operator if you don't understand the functionality of it then you will find it difficult then comes some advanced concepts from day 7 we will learn step by step advanced concepts the first thing we will start with is the conditional handling so in conditional handling we will learn about if condition else if else all of these conditions and we will also perform some examples then we will start with the data types so i could have started data types even before this but the reason why i push data types to day 8 is because i want you to learn in the proper structure most of the times you know if you look at any other python uh, related courses data types is taught first but i did not want to teach data types first because you know these are all the fundamentals that you need to learn even before learning the data types right because let's say i will teach you about list and during the explanation of list if i want to explain some conditions on the list right or if i want to under explain you about some loop operations on the list then you will go blank you will say that but abhishek you did not teach me anything about conditions or you did not teach me anything about loops now how will i understand list so i mean how will i understand operations on list i'll tell you i tread through the list so if i am not teaching you the loops it is very difficult to make you understand iteration on the list so that's why i split the list topics into two parts one is here and part 2 is on day 10 and between part 1 and part 2 i'll teach you about the loops so that i can explain you loops i can explain you loops on the list operations so that you will learn in the practical approach and every example that i take in this uh, series i'll try to make devops i mean i'll try to make use of devops examples so that you understand this in a better way right i can take some practical examples real world examples other than devops but i will try as much as possible related to devops so that you can understand okay uh, devops engineers use loops because they want to perform some operations related to devops tasks right so going back firstly on day 7 i'll teach you if conditions or conditional handling then on day 8 you will learn basics of list and we will also uh, try to use some conditioning on the list uh and we will also perform some you know how to retrieve uh, a particular element on the list all, all those things and then we will learn about loops so here i'll make use of list concept because i have already taught you about list so when i explain about the loops i'll make use of this particular concept and i'll teach you list i'll teach you about the break statements continue which are nothing but the loop control statements and again we will do some example here this is uh, the list part 2 where we will learn about list comprehensions some advanced uh, operations on the list interview questions what kind of interview questions can you expect on list nested list all of these things we will try to cover on data then we will move towards another data type that is dictionaries and sets so basically when you are learning any programming language something that you have to focus is keywords operators data types because using these things you can write code without these things it is impossible to write the code and usually if you look at any program right it can be 1000 lines 10000 lines but these are the things that keep repeating keywords your uh, you know data types variables or uh, what was the other thing that i was talking about okay so in general uh, i just forgot but you will use all of these things such as keywords your variables environment variables you will use uh, data types all of these things are pillars to programming language so that's why we'll focus more on that and then we will learn about functions and modules so how to write a function how to write a module what is the difference between function and module like i told you here i'll teach you a very basic one uh, here on day 4 you will learn very basics about functions and modules but here we will deep dive so there are two uh, sessions on this because to write a better program you need to use functions and modules that's why i'm taking two classes and we will also learn this uh, from the devops engineer point of view where uh, you know how does a devops engineer use functions how does a devops engineer use modules we will learn from that point of view and then uh, moving on you will also learn about uh, lambda functions so this lambda functions is not the lambda functions related to aws but in python there is something called as anonymous functions so we will learn uh, in that point of view 
and then you will also learn about recursions all of some uh, things that can be asked in the interviews then we will focus two days on python libraries for devops because in python there are hundreds of libraries hundreds of modules right but devops engineers don't use all of them like devops engineers very rarely use pandas right devops engineers very rarely use numpy or they don't even use but what are the common python libraries modules functions that are used by devops engineers so we will learn about paramico we will learn about fabric boto3 right ssh connections and <coughs> sorry again and here on day 15 we will learn little advanced and we will also write some programs day 16 how does devops engineers use python to interact with the rest apis so we will learn that so on boto3 in this particular class also when you are using boto3 you will interact with the aws apis but here we will learn how to interact with the apis directly that is you know uh, using the request module how you can talk to an api or once you retrieve the information how you perform uh, operations on it how do you convert json to a dictionary how do you read a dictionary how do you handle errors all of these things you will try to learn in day 16. day 17 we will learn about data serialization and configuration files so this is somewhere related where we will focus more on json and yaml and we will try to learn about the serialization of data day 18 we will learn about cron jobs because as a devops engineer you write a lot of cron jobs so we will learn about automation with cron job and finally day 19 will be python interview questions and answers right so this is how i have structured the entire python series like i told you it will be 19 days and there are 19 folders here there is only one prerequisite that is you need to go through this core syllabus thoroughly you know there is one advantage if you go through the core syllabus thoroughly that is you will know beforehand what abhishek is going to teach tomorrow you will know that okay in this 19 days this is what i'm going to learn right if possible i'll elaborate this uh, core syllabus even more and uh, you know i'll keep updating these folders not sometimes i update it uh, after the video but sometimes i update it before also whenever i have some time i try to run some practicals i try to run some demos before i make the video so you know if i find something good and interesting i'll upload in the device folders as well so you can star and uh, fork this folder as you like so this is about the entire uh, python series so like i told you again 19 days and the course starts from 20th of this month right today is 13th and the course starts from 20th so it is important for you to understand that you know day wise you will learn some important concepts from the devops engineering point of view you might be thinking there are so many courses on python how this is different this is different because i'll teach you from the devops point of view i'll not be covering all the concepts but i'll be covering the concepts that are used by devops engineers mostly and how to answer uh, during the interviews when in interview if they give you a program how to handle that all of these things we will try to learn in this series so i think i've covered all the information one final thing that i want to tell you is if you have any questions you can either post them detailed on the youtube comment or there is also a specific private telegram channel you will get access to it by clicking on the join button by becoming a member of the channel and while practicing these things if you have any questions there are more than 200 people on that membership channel you can interact with them you can talk with them and if there are any things that people cannot solve within i will try to pitch in and i'll also try to explain so this is a video i hope you found it interesting stay tuned for day uh, sorry stay tuned for 20th of this month when i start this series right thank you so much take care everyone bye bye